What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Brian Mello over at Marty's Chevrolet, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this 2021 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Dusk Edition. Now, as with most of my videos, I'm going to do a quick walk around the exterior of the truck, show you some of the highlighted features there, and then once we're done, I will, of course, jump inside as well. Just to kick things off, MSRP on this vehicle as tested is $49,000. Yeah, $49,000 even. I thought it was a little weird. Couldn't believe that was on the window sticker. $49,000 even. And the Dusk, as far as what you get with that special edition package, you get the wheels, you get the, you can actually see the LED lights that are mounted to that roll bar in the back. Pretty cool package. I think it really ties together, especially with that uh, bright blue metallic paint. In fact, while the sun is up, I'm gonna come in close so you can actually see this paint job is a beauty. Of course, there goes the sun. You can see some of that metallic flake right there. This thing really, really pops. And with the uh, with the black wheels, this might just be the, the combo to go for, if you're someone that likes blue. Up front, you can see we've got that revised front end. We've got the red tow recovery hooks down low. We've got the pass-through bow tie over on the right. Chevrolet, of course, across the middle. It's very Predator looking in the front. We've got our projector housing headlamps. We've got that ZR2 uh, hood. And if we get down low, we should be able to see, I uh, might be able to, there we go. We can see the gold DSSV Multimatic suspension underneath the ZR2. Probably one of the uh, number one reasons to get into this, that and the front and rear locking differentials. As we go around the side of the truck, we're gonna get our first look at those wheels. These are a 17 by 8 inch gloss black aluminum wheel, and that I believe is a 265 Goodyear Wrangler. Let me just verify since we're here. Let's take a peek. Yes, yeah, so that's a 265 65 Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack. Relatively aggressive tire. Should be, uh, should be no issue when you take this thing wheeling. I'm gonna back up. This is the crew cab. Just wanna give you a full side profile of the truck. If you didn't notice, you can see we've got the tubular rocker protectors here. You can see the sport bar with the LED lights mounted up high. There's your tubular bodyguard. So if you're gonna put this thing up on a rock, you're not gonna absolutely destroy the truck. Once again, that bright blue metallic paint just really pops. I'm gonna give you a quick peek at our window sticker. I know it might be a little tough to see, I am recording this in 4K, so if you want to pause the video right now, you should be able to zoom in and, and see everything, but I'll go over kind of the quick stuff. You can see here, 2021 uh, Colorado four-wheel drive ZR2 crew. You can see we got the bright blue metallic uh, paint with jet black leather interior, the 3.6 with the eight-speed automatic transmission. You can see right here the ZR2 Dusk Special Edition, 3215 as far as uh, cost associated there. You've got the black aluminum wheels. You also have a spare that matches. You can see you've got the off-road lights, dealer installed, the roll bar installed. So keep keep in mind if you are out looking and you're not around here and shopping with me, which if you are around here, you should be. If you see one of these, make sure you check and see if there's any dealer installed accessories that haven't been installed on the truck yet. And you can see here 49,000 even. As far as your fuel economy goes, we've got 18 highway, 16 city with a 17 combined. Uh, truth be told, I don't think someone that's shopping for one of these is probably too, too concerned with fuel economy. Maybe a little bit, but... To me, this is more of a, what can it do? What's the capability of this thing? I've actually taken one of these out. I didn't go too crazy with it, obviously, because we do have to sell it, but the capability is incredible. This thing handled everything without any issue, and those lockers make a world of difference. As we go around the back of the truck, we get another look at that roll bar. You can see we've got the ZR2 on the side of the fender. I'll also let you see, look how much wider this truck is compared to a, a normal Colorado. You see how those flared out fenders in the front and the rear? It adds a, a huge road presence. I wish I had another one to park right next to it so you can see the difference. But if you go and you take a look, you'll notice it really quickly how much wider it is from your standard Colorado. You can see in the back, we've got our rear backup camera, Chevy, of course, across the middle, ZR2 badge on the bottom right. Trailer tow package is all set up. I believe max towing on this is right around 7,000 pounds. And I want to say we do. We've got our factory spray and bed liner. Easy drop tailgate. We've got four tow hooks, or tow hooks, four tie down hooks in the corner of the bed. So if you're gonna throw like a dirt bike or a quad, uh, dog crate like me or anything else in the back of this thing, be really easy, throw it in there. 
tie down hooks are there and you can expand them as well. You can see these black plugs. You just pull those plugs, install your own hooks, you're good to go. I still will never get over how light these tailgates are. Remember back in the day, you know, you lifted dad's tailgate to shut it and the thing was like, Rah! nice and easy. You can also see your full size spare. So if you're gonna be off-roading and you blow a tire, don't worry, it's not a donut under there. You actually have a full uh, replacement wheel to keep you going. I'm gonna step back here just to give you another look at the truck. She is quite a looker. I love this thing. Uh, I would probably do satin steel metallic. If you follow me, you know, that's just my color. But uh, that blue looks really good on this truck. Let's take a peek in the back. Show the passenger compartment first. Those LED lights are pretty cool. Oh, I'm yanking on the camera here. I'm gonna uh, just give me one second just so I can, I'm gonna lift the camera up so you can get a better look at the LED lights on top of the light bar. And they're actually really, really bright. Uh, when I did take this truck out, I was on the beach, it was nighttime, and the LED lights actually made a huge difference. So you can see there's our jet black leather interior with contrast stitching. You've got your armrest here that doubles as a cup holder. As far as hookups, we've got two USBs and then we've got your standard power outlet. And I believe if I can do this, I'm gonna try and do this with, you know, maybe, maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one handed. I'm gonna try, I'm trying folks. There we go, I did it without dropping the camera. <laughs> Uh, underneath, you've got your storage container. This is really great because you can throw a tow chain, especially if you're gonna use this thing for off-roading, which is, you know, what it's intended for. Uh, you'd be able to throw like a tow chain under there, uh, maybe like a, the grips that you can put under your tires, maybe a shovel in case you have to dig yourself out. Hopefully you don't have to, but it's, it's nice to have a place to put some stuff on the inside that's not gonna fly around when you hit the brakes, slide out from underneath the seat. So nice little feature there. And that, of course, brings us up front, which is probably what most of you are waiting to see. Uh, I will reiterate, too, this is not a step. This is just a bar. Uh, it is just a rocker protector. So if you're going to scrape this thing, you're going to scrape that as opposed to the body of the truck. I've had a few people come in here unaware. They're trying to use it as a step. You slip. You hit your shin. Not fun. Not fun. So don't do that. Before I hop in, I just wanted to uh, show off this. I just, you know... I like the details. I love the ZR2 embroidered in the headrest. I think it looks really good with the, the gray contrast stitching. It matches, looks awesome. But let's get inside. And all right, let me see what I did with the key. And I will show you the key since I didn't. I know I usually show that first thing, but here's a look at your key fob. Pretty standard, you get your lock, your unlock, your remote start, your panic button. Still does take a key. You still have to twist it and turn it on. I'm gonna see our electronics to turn on. Let me kill the radio here. All right, now I am gonna go through this relatively quickly. So I always like to let everybody know if there's something I miss, because sometimes that happens, uh, or you have any questions or concerns at the end, please uh, don't be afraid to leave a question or comment down below and I'll be happy to answer those as best as I can. So. Starting over on the left, we've got our power windows, power mirrors. We've got our door locks. You can lock your windows too if you want, if you don't want the kids rolling the windows down. Up here, we've got our trailer brake controller. We've also got our headlight controls and our four-wheel drive controls. Chances are you're going to leave that in auto, so you probably never really have to touch that. This little, this little scrolly guy here, that will increase or decrease the brightness of your gauge cluster. Be tough to see right now because we're in direct sunlight, but that is what that does. You've also got your heated steering wheel, which is awesome, especially if you're like me in New England. We've got our cruise controls, and then you've got a uh, buttons right on the back side of the steering wheel. You can know you can like switch your radio station. You can see here, you can, I'm on XM right now. You can go through all the different, whatever you have set as favorites. Over on the right side, we've got our Bluetooth hands-free controls. And then this little guy here will go through all the different information. You can see I'm scrolling through. So that's your home screen. Here's my information screen. I can go through all the different stuff there. Uh, you know, oil life, tire pressures, brake, brake pad life, all that kind of stuff. There's our off-road, so our approach angles and everything it will show me. And you can adjust this and edit it any way you want. You'll see it has like blank pages. If you go all the way over here to your settings, you can actually change whatever pages that you'd like. So pretty cool feature there. 
Of course, your phone controls, uh, your navigation you can run through here as well, and your radio. Most people, you end up leaving it on home, so it tells you how fast you're going, your odometer, and then your distance until your fuel tank's empty. Probably my favorite thing. When they started doing that, how, how f distance till empty, how often do you get down to like two miles, start sweating? Over here on the right, we've got our 8-inch full-color Chevy MyLink system. So we've got AM, FM, XM, satellite radio. You do have, I think this one has Bose audio in it. I don't see the badges, but I believe it says Bose on the, on the window sticker. Um, awesome system. I'm going to just throw it on one so that it, YouTube doesn't give me a copyright. Love what you hear? Call 844 Sounds really, really good in here. So if you're someone that likes music but you don't feel like spending more for an audio system, this should do the trick. Uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, if I didn't say that before I went into the radio, you've got a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere land and your cell phone's not getting a signal, you're going to have some satellite internet connection here. Your OnStar services, you can adjust your climate control system all through here, but I'm very happy that I still have my standard analog. I just like to be able to do a quick spin on a dial rather than going into a touch screen. That's just me. Maybe I'm starting to get old. You've got all your apps. You can sign into your My Chevrolet account from here, so you'll be able to like schedule service if you needed it all through the system. You can check out our backup camera right from here if you need to. Make sure when you uh, when you take one of these for a test drive, you actually use everything that the system has to offer you. This one does have nav. However, if it, if you get into one that doesn't have nav, don't let that really change your buying decision too much. It's actually going to save you a little bit of money, and you can always just use your phone's navigation. Like I'm a, I'm a I have nav in my truck, and I end up using ways from my phone all the time. So um, I know a lot of people get hung up on that. It doesn't have nav. I don't want it. So just keep that in mind. Without nav, you might actually be able to save a little bit of money. Now, don't get me wrong. It is nice to have it built into the system too um, because having options is always great. But just, you know, something to know. Food for thought. So below here, we're going to get underneath our climate control system. And you can see we've got our traction control. We've got our rear locker and our front locker. So... If I just hit that button, that is going to lock the rear. And if I hit this front one, that is actually, I think I need to be in four low. Yes. Yeah. It's actually warning me. I got to be in four low to use the front locker. So I'm not going to do that right now. So if you're going to do some, uh, some heavy off-roading and you have this thing in four low, lock your rear, lock the front, and you're going to climb over pretty much everything. If you get stuck, send me a message. I'd be curious to see how you got stuck because I'm sure it'll be a funny photo. We've got our trailer mode here. We've got our hill descent control. We've got the spotlight over the back of the bed, and then we've got our heated seats. I'm gonna go here and underneath. You can see we've got a power outlet. We've got two USB ports. We've got an auxiliary jack and an SD card slot. And then, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. There's your, uh, the LED light bar. Come on, focus, focus. Uh, there's the button to turn your LED light bar on. So, right there. Going over to the center console, you can see here's your shifter. You've got, of course, some cup holders here. I'll throw this in park. You've got your wireless charging station. So just set your phone down right here as long as it's got a conductive back. Pretty much every phone nowadays uh, has a wireless charging unless you're on something pretty old. Uh, either way, you can, of course, plug it in. Plenty of places to plug in. But just set that phone down here. It's going to charge wirelessly. Sweet. No cables. Who wants cables nowadays? In here, I don't think there's any chargers. Um, I do, however, have the covers a little dirty. Uh, the covers for the LED lights, so you can pop these on, keep those safe when you're not using them. Glove box over here. I guess I'll open it because one person once yelled at me for not opening the glove box. That's a glove box. <laughs> you do have uh, that gray trim piece on the door, which I'm happy they did. It does break up all that black. Up above, we've got a place to keep some sunglasses. We've got our interior lighting. We've got our, oh, that's the door lighting. So whether or not how you want the door lighting activated. And then we've got our OnStar equipped mirror. And that, my good friends, is essentially the, the quick rundown. I'm going to just throw all the lights on of this 2021 Chevy Colorado ZR2. If you have any questions, any concerns, you can see I have the uh, LED lights on right now. Please feel free to drop a comment down below. 
as of right now, this truck is for sale. I know these things are tough to get, so if you're someone that's been looking for one and you just want to buy this bad boy, uh, I'll be jealous. Good for you. You can give us a shout, drop a comment down below, or visit us at martys-chevy.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helps you. Please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It really does help me out. I appreciate it a lot. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care and have a great weekend. I'm out.